In this tutorial, I'll show you how to record audio in PowerPoint and how to publish it using iSpring Free. So here I have a PowerPoint presentation open and we're going to start by going to Slideshow. And then we will use the Record Slideshow button here. And you have the option to start recording from the beginning or if you're making some edits, you can start recording from the current slide, in which case you would have wanted to select your slide over here that you want to start with. So I'll go ahead and start with this slide. So we'll say I like how slide one turned out. And here you just want to keep the defaults so you can leave those boxes checked and click start recording. Now it's pulled up my PowerPoint in full screen mode and up here is the recording window that I'm going to be using. So here of course is a standard pause button. This is the time of this slide and then over here is the time of your entire presentation. So let's say I totally messed up this slide and I want to start over on this slide. You can click that and it's going to pause it for you so whenever you're ready you can resume. And here I have a redo on this slide so the timer started over. When you're done with the slide you're on you can click here to go to the next. So let's say I just wanted to redo these two slides the rest of the presentation is good. So I'm going to click the X to get out of here. And sometimes it'll take a little while to save. But that was really quick. So here you'll want to save your file again just to make sure everything's saved fine. And then when you're all good to go, you can choose the iSpring Free tab. And I generally recommend doing Publish rather than Quick Publish because you have more options and you can determine where exactly your file is going. So here's the presentation title. You can make that whatever you'd like. And then here is where it is going to publish. So you can browse and choose a different destination if you'd like. So then when you have published your presentation, you'll end up with a folder with three files. The .swf file is the one that you would want to upload to D2L.